Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to be making something that's nice and light and easy and perfect for summer. I don't know where you are, but where we are, it is so hot here. I mean, it's just, oh, it's awful. So I'm not looking for anything heavy and, you know, just, I need something good for the heat. I want something that's light and easy. And something that I don't have to cook is even better because then I don't have to turn the stove on. So that's awesome. Today we are going to be making broccoli salad. Now it's it's really easy. It looks like the prep time is only 15 minutes according to this. And then you refrigerate it for an hour and it makes eight servings. And it's really simple. I'll be honest with you. I don't really like broccoli. I don't really like any vegetables. I eat them, but I don't really like them all that much. I read somewhere that there are some people who, because of their, something with their genetic makeup, certain vegetables taste bitter to them, whereas to other people they don't taste bitter. To me, I have always found broccoli to be very bitter and just, I just don't like the taste of broccoli at all. I don't like asparagus. I don't like Brussels sprouts. I don't like any of that stuff. It, to me, it all tastes bitter and just very unappealing. But Glenda the Good Witch, as you may know, my current ex-husband, recommended this to me he said if he i said i don't like broccoli he said try it anyway you gotta try this so we're gonna make this and it takes broccoli a little bit of red onion cranberries sunflower seeds bacon bits cider vinegar sugar mayonnaise salt and pepper okay so what we're gonna do is where I'm going to cut up and wash and clean the broccoli. Now the note says you do need to dry it thoroughly so you don't get that extra liquid in the, uh, the salad. And then I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna cut up some red onion. This, they didn't have many. This was the prettiest one they had and it's, it's kind of scary looking. I showed it to Olive and she hissed at it so I don't know if that means it's good or bad. And I have some sunflower, some sunflower kernels here from Aldi. And of course, for the mayonnaise, I have my Duke's mayonnaise right here. And I found some bacon pieces at Walmart. They're reduced sodium. Although you're putting a cup of mayonnaise in here, so I don't know that we're really worried about our health at this point. Some apple cider vinegar here. And some dried cranberries from Southern Grove, which is an Aldi brand. So that's gonna be awesome. And yeah, and then I have, of course, the sugar and the salt and pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash and break up the broccoli and dry it. And we need eight cups of broccoli cut into bite-sized pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we will move on to step two, which is going to be making a simple homemade dressing for this broccoli salad. So even if you don't like broccoli, just... Uh, Hang in there with me because I can totally relate. Uh, hang in there with me and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, we have everything ready. Look at my pretty broccoli. Look at that. I broke it up into little bite-sized pieces. I washed it and dried it, made sure to dry it thoroughly. It said to dry it really well so you don't get extra liquid in your, uh, dress, in your uh, salad. Okay, but we're not gonna do anything with the broccoli now because we need to do the dressing and it's really easy you're going to whisk together the cider vinegar sugar mayonnaise salt and pepper in a medium bowl i don't know if this is medium but we'll find out i'm going to put the mayonnaise in there i just left the spoon in it that i used to get it out of the jar a whole cup of mayonnaise that's a lot that's some artery clogging goodness right there. Look. That's fine. Okay, so you're going to have that, and then you're going to add to that some uh, cider vinegar here. Let's see, for that we need, how much do we need? Three tablespoons of this. So let's do three tablespoons. There's one, two, and three 
tablespoons of that. Put the lid back on there. Okay. Also, we need the sugar. Here I have two tablespoons of sugar. Just sprinkle that on there. Just two tablespoons of that. The mayonnaise. And then for salt and pepper, it doesn't give you an exact amount. So I just took some Himalayan salt and ground some pepper. I don't know, it may be too much, but it didn't say what how much to use. Okay, now you take all that and then you're going to whisk it together. So I'm just gonna take my whisk and I'm gonna be careful so I don't slosh that liquid out. You can see that pepper in there. Ooh. Okay. We're not gonna do anything with it right now. Doesn't that look nice? That's pretty. Look, at, look how it just coats the whisk, too. It's all that mayonnaise. We're going to set that aside. We don't need it right now. Okay, now what we need to do for step two, we need to get a large bowl. And in the large bowl, we're going to combine broccoli, the onions, cranberries, sunflower seeds, and bacon bits. And Tripp is working on his spring from bike again today. All right, I don't know how big of a bowl I need, so I just grabbed this great big old Tupperware bowl that my mother gave to me. Now in this bowl, we're going to pour all of the broccoli. Okay, we're just gonna pour the broccoli in there. That's eight cups of broccoli, little bite-sized pieces. Look at all those little trees like a bunch of little trees, it's like a little forest. Okay, so we want the broccoli in there. The onion, I cut up a third of a cup of red onion. Got all emotional about it too. That's the first time I've cut an onion in a while. Got all teary-eyed doing that. Okay, broccoli, onion, cranberries. Now for the cranberries, we're gonna need a half of a cup of these dried cranberries. We're just going to sprinkle that over the top of everything. Okay. Now the next thing we need is sunflower seeds. And for the sunflower seeds, we're going to need a quarter of a cup of these. Sprinkle that over the top. Colorful. Alright. And bacon bits. I have my little real bacon bits. Um, for the bacon bits, we're going to need a half of a cup of these. And just sprinkle on over there. doesn't say to, but I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. It says the next thing you should do is pour the dressing over and mix everything. I'm going to go ahead and mix it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and mix it a little bit first. Just a little. All we're going to do now is pour the dressing that we made over the top. All that goodness. Ooh. And it does, the recipe has a little note here, and it says that you can substitute coleslaw dressing for this homemade dressing if you want to. You can just use coleslaw dressing if you don't want to make your own. Or if you just have some on hand, you can just use that. And we just mix it all together. We're just coating everything. I 
use this big bowl. I was gonna use a smaller one, I'm glad I didn't. You need a lot of room to mix this stuff up. seeds off the sides. Look at them, they stick all to the sides of the bowl. Okay. Okay. Now that looks really nice. Now what we're going to do with our lovely little salad here is now, now that you've mixed it together, that's all you have to do. The last step is that you have to refrigerate it for at least one hour before you serve it. So we're gonna go ahead and refrigerate this for an hour. And then we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if this works for me and if it makes me like broccoli. <laughs> okay, let's go refrigerate it. Okay, well here it is. It's been in the refrigerator for about an hour. It doesn't really, it doesn't look any different. But you know what I thought we would do? I think we're gonna, and I should have done this before I put it in the refrigerator, but because it takes up a big part of the whole shelf in there, we're gonna transfer this over to a smaller bowl. I have this little bowl here. Well, it's not little, but it's smaller. And I like this bowl because I have a lid for it, which I, I actually don't have a lid for this big yellow one. That looks nice. I could just rake it in there, I guess. Is really strong. I, I cut up enough for this thing and then the rest of it I just kind of wrapped up, you know. Man, my whole house smells like onions. Let me go grab something. I want to go grab a little scraper so we can get all the goodness out of there. Got my scraper. I can get it out of the spoon for starters. Flower seeds like to stick to the sides. mixing it a little bit. Ok, 
Hey, look at that. Look how pretty that is. That turned out really nice. So now we're going to put a little bit on a little plate and we'll try it and we'll see if it tastes as nice as it looks. Okay, I, all I did, I just took this little glass and I just put a little bit in here. Um, that way, if I don't like it, I can give it to Glenda the Good Witch because he loves this stuff. Um, I didn't want to get a whole bunch of it if I didn't like it. So we have our broccoli in here and the little sunflower kernels and the bacon bits and the cranberries. I think that's going to be a very interesting mix of flavors. Now let me see. I want to try to get... Oh, and the onion too. I want to try to get a little bit of everything. Oh, that's about a perfect bite. That's basically a cross section of everything. I think there's a little bit of onion in there. So let's see. I can't even really taste the broccoli that much. You kind of can. In that bite at least. I didn't taste it so much, which is a good thing. What if I take, I have a piece of broccoli here. Now it kind of has a little bit of bacon bit on it and then dressing, there's a little piece of onion in there. Will I be able to tolerate this? <laughs> I wish I liked broccoli. I really, I wish I did. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's actually really good. There's, um, there's a little bit of sweetness to it, I guess from the sugar. Just a little bit. Not, it's not too much. It's just perfect. I don't taste any of the pepper I put in here, but I honestly didn't put a lot of pepper in this. Here we have cranberry, bacon bits, broccoli, and onion. This is really good. <laughs> the cranberries add a nice flavor. I almost wonder what raisins would taste like in it. Right, ooh, maybe raisins and pine nuts. And like instead of sunflower seeds and cranberries, or in addition to it. I hate broccoli and I like this. This is yummy. And the good thing is, you don't have to cook anything. And this would keep for quite a while in your refrigerator. I mean, at least several days. And then, the longer it sits, the flavors get married, you know, and they taste better. You have to have, give them time to, you know, gel. Here's a big old piece of broccoli and a cranberry. And I think that's a bacon bit. That's good. That is really good. I'm going to give you the recipe to this. Um, it's from spendwithpennies.com. But I'll put I'll put the recipe in there. This it's super easy to make. There aren't a lot of ingredients. It, it's just basically two steps and then you let it sit in the refrigerator for an hour. Glenda the Good Witch may not get this. <laughs> I'll give him half of it. I have to say, I had very low expectations for this thing. I just, I, because, because I really, I've tried broccoli a bunch of different ways and I just don't like it. This I like. This I really like. And I'm not a big fan of dried cranberries either. I mean, they're okay, but they're so strong. You know, they're so tangy. But the thing is, in this salad, you have the cranberries mixed in with a bunch of other stuff. 
and it kind of cuts down the tanginess. You know, it's not as sharp and it adds a nice, a nice little bite to the flavor of the salad. Mm. I'm going to eat all of it. You get all these little bits and pieces. Mmm. That's so good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Broccoli salad. Very easy. It's nice and light. It's not a hot dish, which is good when it's like a thousand degrees outside, which it is. So, yeah, this is awesome. Broccoli salad. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you again really soon.